Yago here, welcome back or welcome. And if is that the last one, please let me tell you we do tech reviews and unboxings of cool tech like this one today. If that's something interests you, please consider subscribing, give a thumbs up in this video, and share it all around with your friends. With this said, let's start a review of the Fifty Fifty Fifty. Is a Mifo um, white brand or budget brand, if you want to call it. It's the Wi-Fi Air 2. I'm going to tell you all about these uh, earbuds in a few minutes, so stay tuned. Starting with the price. The Mifu iFi Air 2 wireless earbuds has a price tag of £49.99 in UK. For the US, it's not available now. But to give you an idea of the price, on the Amazon Canada, the price tag of the iFi Air 2 wireless earbuds is $69.99 Canadian dollars. Like always, I will leave links in the video description. Please check them up for best price and product information. This time Mifus changed the design of the iFi Air 2. So, you have a white glossy case with the branding on the back, a small LED for battery indication on the front and the USB-C port on the bottom. The lid open is nice and solid and has a nice hinge to keep the lid open on all positions. Inside, you have the earbuds. This ones haven't changed much from the original iFi Air. So, you have a short stem. They look cool in this white color. With the 50 Fifi branding on the touch surface. They have ENC for clear calls. We will test this later on the video. The battery life of the Hi-Fi Air 2 is similar with the Hi-Fi Air. So, with the Hi-Fi Air 2, you will get 5 hours of playback time with the earbuds and 25 additional hours with the case. Also, there is no fast charging or wireless charging capabilities. Let's see some of the features next. The Wi-Fi Air 2 comes with Bluetooth 5.3 chipset with support for ANC and SPC audio codec. They have 12mm dynamic drivers with balanced armature, ANC, transparency mode and ENC for clear calls, 24-bit audio decoding and they are IPX7 waterproof, so you can take them to the gym or out in the rain. This time the iFi Air 2 comes with an app support, so let's have a look. The app is called Fiti. First, you have the buds on top with a percentage. After that, you can choose between transparency mode, mild noise reduction and strong noise reduction. Below that are the controls where you can change them. You can update your firmware on the right tab and on the middle is the one that I pressed by mistake. You can choose to have white noise playing when you're sleeping for example or music. I don't understand the music bit. And that is your EQ after that. You can choose between various EQs. For example, you can change your bass to a strong bass simple app that will get better with future updates I'm sure. Let's talk ANC. So remember that this pair of earbuds are a budget pair. With this in mind, the transparency mode is weak and nothing great. I would say it's like entry level of transparency mode and that's what it's supposed to do, so I'm a bit disappointed. Now the ANC have two modes like you have seen in the app. Now, I haven't noticed any difference between these two modes. The ANC is also entry level. It will block out very low amount of rumble, the low rumbles. Voices or high pitched sound, you are going to hear that. But again, at this price point, I don't have any issues with this. Next, please be the judge on the mic test, inside and outside. Right guys, so this is the sound of the Hi-Fi Air 2 from Mifos. They have E and C for better calls. So let me know what you guys think about this sound. Is the microphone any good? We're going to do the same test outside next. Right guys, so this is the sound of the Hi-Fi Air 2 from Mifos. We are outside. It's a little bit windy. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, microphone when you're making a phone call outside. I'm going to go back inside and carry on with the review. Latency, there is no issues watching YouTube or Netflix. 
and when you use the gaming mode, there is no latency in most of the games out there. The last one is the sound quality, and in my opinion, the most important. So, ANC transparency mode are just okay. Well, with the sound quality, things change. These earbuds are pushed a little bit more towards a brighter pair of earbuds. There is some bass on here, but not much overpowering. The bass is clean. The mids sound really good. Instruments sound good also. They do sound good. They are a really good pair of earbuds sound-wise. Is this enough? Well, all depends on you guys. In my opinion, this is enough to justify the price point. So, the level of ANC and transparency mode on here is just okay, in my opinion. The sound quality and the touch controls are pretty good. For the price, I think they are a great option to consider. And that's it guys, this was our quick review on the iFi Air 2. Here we go guys. If you find any value in this review, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it all around with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it now. With this said, Tiago here, and I'll catch you in the next one.